Y'all already know who I am. Um, My name's Topher. Just kidding. It's me. I know the disguise was so convincing. One big room full of bad One big room full of bad As you may already know, the iconic scent of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford has had a couple new additions and we are gonna get into them because I have gotten to smell them and I need y'all to know what my nose already knows, okay? Uh, Lost Cherry is just one of those classic scents, okay? It can easily go either way, either gender. It's the perfect scent to layer. I have so many different scent combinations that I like to do with Lost Cherry, so if y'all want a video on that, just <laughs> let your girl know. But today we are not talking about Lost Cherry, we are talking about her sisters or her brothers or whatever you want to identify as. The legendary Tom Ford has decided to expand his cherry collection and he made two new fragrances, one of which is called Cherry Smoke and the other is Electric Cherry. <laughs> so we're gonna smell both of them and see which one is the best. Since there are only two scents today, I am gonna spray these on skin. We all know that that is the ultimate test. Coming in strong, we're gonna start off with Cherry Smoke. I'm gonna spray this one on my left hand. So I already did an initial review of these fragrances on my TikTok and upon the first smell, I definitely get like this side effects by Initio type of vibe. Um, very interesting, very alluring. Definitely smell the smoke in this that comes from the incense and the base. It also has leather in this. There is olive. There is saffron and sour cherry in the opening. There's some apricot in the mid. It is a very, very sexy, smoky take on cherry. I definitely think that if a guy is looking to um, grab one of these out of the new Tom Ford Cherry collection, this is definitely the way to go. Oh, that is so, so, so sexy. I showed this to a friend of mine the other day, a guy friend, and he's like, it's like they literally took Lost Cherry and made it better. This one has so much more depth. It definitely is not that medicinal cherry that you kind of get from Lost Cherry. It can go either way. Like to some people, it leans a little more medicinal. To some people, they absolutely love it and think it just smells divine. I am one that has definitely gone back and forth about Lost Cherry. I've always loved it, but um, in terms of what it delivers to me, it was never that I didn't like it, but I definitely could pick up on that like cough syrupy, you know, type of cherry. This is not that kind of cherry at all. You definitely, definitely, like I emphasize the notes of olive and leather because you can really smell that in the undertone in addition to that incense, of course, that very smoky, sexy, masculine take on cherry. It is it's so nice for the fall and the winter. Um, I do think that a man could get away with this year round because I know a lot of guys typically take Lost Cherry and layer it with something a little more heavy, a little more spicy to give it that oomph that it needs to be a little bit more masculine. And some people just like to wear it as is. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I do know that a lot of guys have to kind of doctor it up to keep it from smelling too perfumey, too girly. So I think that this is exactly what they're going for when they layer Lost Cherry with other things to kind of create something different. This is stunning. I honestly, mm, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. It is a very unique approach to cherry this is definitely a cherry that i have not smelled before i've smelled like cherry oud by guerlain and um, blossom love by amouage and lots of different cherries i even have a limited edition one by victor and rolf um i think it's called uh dancing flowers or something like that but that's a cherry fragrance as well so I've, i have been able to get my nose on quite a few different cherry fragrances i have um cherry garden up there by house of siage and i can honestly say this is a cherry that has not been done before and i think that's exactly what we needed um i'm just gonna tell you right now i am thoroughly impressed with the entire cherry collection i think that tom ford just made it so easy for everyone to find their perfect cherry like if you don't like lost cherry because it's too whatever there's gonna be a cherry for you out of these three you know what i'm saying like that's the vibe i'm getting from this collection next up we have electric cherry which is what inspired my little outfit today it's giving like what was it the 70s that they wore stuff like this with the leggings um, not the leggings the leg warmers and the little like y'all know what i'm talking about that little era yeah but i just feel like this this outfit looks real electric you know what i'm saying it's just giving a roar no is it just me okay so um this is electric cherry i'm gonna spray this one on my right hand 
this is my kind of cherry okay this is my kind of cherry <laughs> oh. Get a little hot in here. This one is definitely a more vibrant, youthful, fun, playful, flirty cherry. This one has notes of pink pepper and ginger and jasmine, and it's got like a very musky, ambready type of dry down in the base. <sighs> Stunning. I love it. Oh, personally, it literally, like, I don't want this to deter people. I want you to think of it in the most luxurious way possible, but this literally smells like fruit punch, like Hawaiian punch, like Tropicana, tropical punch. Like it smells like juice. Like it smells juicy. Like you bit into a cherry and then like the juice of it is like dripping down your mouth. Like that's literally what I get from this. Oh my God. I think that electric cherry is the perfect name for this because it just excites you. Like it's vibrant it's fun it's colorful like you you just close your eyes and that's why i think i get like that tropical punch vibe because it's like a crap ton of different fruits combined into one and it's like you smell this and it just takes you on a ride and it's so many different things and it's just ah it's so happy it's so fun it's girly it's flirty um of course these are all unisex this is probably the one i'm least likely to want to smell on a man i think it just smells like very girly to me <laughs> personally you know but the way that it performs on everyone's skin is completely different i haven't actually smelled this on a guy so i could be wrong one of y'all could really surprise me and be that one to get away with the electric cherry you never know but oh my gosh if it's one thing tom ford knows how to do is make a cherry i would definitely have to say my number one is electric cherry my number two is lost cherry and my number three is cherry smoke and it is not because i like cherry smoke any less than the others but like i said it gives a more masculine vibe if i was ordering this for a man it would literally be the complete opposite cherry smoke as number one lost cherry as number two electric cherry as number three so it just completely depends on you know who i'm picking the fragrance for Oh, but these are beautiful. Like I said, they're they're so completely different. And even the Lost Cherry compared to these two, totally different vibe, totally different type of person. Like, oh, literally a cherry for everyone. Tom Ford, you did your big one. If you happen to get your nose on these and you have to smell all three before you come with your verdict, once you've smelled all three, I want you to come back and tell me which one is your favorite. If you haven't smelled any of them, let me know which one excites you the most, which notes stand out to you, and which one you want to get your nose on. As always, I will have a link down in my description box on where you can purchase these fragrances. I always, always leave links, so sometimes y'all will be like, where can I purchase it? It's always going to be down there, y'all. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!